Despite our initial suspicion regarding the $1,000 price tag and unheard of manufacturer, this crypto phone is fundamentally an upper mid-range Android handset with distinctive design choices and integrated crypto functions. We have been skeptical about crypto, Web3, blockchain, and the metaverse, but tripping away the crypto could let us see its true potential. In 2017, Essential launched the Essential Phone, a sleek smartphone with novel features, including a camera notch and modular accessories made from quality materials. The expensive pricing, mediocre cameras, lack of functionality, and exclusive launch with Sprint all contributed to poor sales and the eventual bankruptcy of the firm, which was played by scandals involving Andy Rubin despite the phone's originality and clean software. The original crew resurfaced in 2020 as Awesome, releasing the Awesome OV1, which echoed the essential phone's looks and advancements but struggled to reinvigorate interest due to the all-too-familiar problem of enthusiast phones failing to appeal to a wide audience despite their novel ideas. Web3 firm Solana partnered with hardware startup Awesome, who is looking for financial backing, to turn the OV1 into the Solana Saiva crypto phone. This partnership is an attempt to produce the desired product at a cost of $1,000. The Solana Mobile Stack, Seed Vault, and the app store are three elements that set this crypto phone apart from the competition. Beyond these, the OV1 Solana phone is quite normal for an Android handset. It has a Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 processor, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 0.5 terabyte of storage. It needs to be clarified if it's UFS 3.1 or not. Wireless charging is supported by the phone's 4100 mA battery and the 6.67-inch 1080p 120Hz display is nice to have but not perfect. It has a micro SD expansion slot and a dust and water resistance rating of IP68. Its 50 megapixels main sensor and 12 megapixels ultrawide rear cameras, however, perform poorly in less than ideal lighting conditions. Nonetheless, there are still two major features that have left an impression on us. The phone's premium components contribute to its excellent construction. They include a matte stainless steel frame, colored titanium buttons, and a ceramic back that shows fingerprints easily. It weighs 250 grams, which is more than an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and has sharp corners and solid build quality. Despite its mediocre hardware, Android 13 provides a smooth, near-stock software experience. The question that remains, however, is whether or not this merits the steep $1,000 price tag. Despite being equipped with last year's top hardware, the phone's cameras, battery life, and display are all below par. Yet, the device's use of stock Android and high-quality construction are notable advantages. As quickly as it had been priced at $1,000, it was down to $600 in just a year. Now, the main question arises, is a moderately improved, well-built Android phone with integrated crypto functions worth the $600 price tag. Looking deeper into its crypto features, we find that the Seed Vault provides secure storage of a 24-phrase seed, unavailable to the Android OS, facilitating wallet access, and the Solana mobile stack enables connections to the Solana blockchain exclusively. Furthermore, it has a D app store reserved only for crypto-centric apps. To define its crypto-centricity, however, it is limited to the Solana blockchain. It features a specialized D-App store, eventually accessible on non-crypto phones, as well as a few dedicated crypto apps like Phantom Wallet and Minifresh, which allow users to generate NFTs from pictures. The fascinating inbuilt security capabilities of the crypto phone are unique to the Solana environment. As a powerful safeguard against potential cyber dangers like juice jacking assaults from public USB ports, its key selling point is a special charging cable with a data blocking switch. Even with these improvements, the foam is aimed at a relatively small subset of the crypto industry. In addition, at $600, it is more expensive than competing models from major brands like the Pixel, Galaxy, and Own Plus. Although it has several novel features, the phone has limited appeal. This highlights the difficulties of breaking into the already crowded smartphone industry. Thanks for watching.
If you want more videos like this one, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos.